welcome to another lip balm review. I finally got around to the last of the three pack from this. There's actually still one more stick format one to go after this one that wasn't part of the three pack, but let's sold individually, but worry about that another day. But for today, it is the Hello Kitty Soft Lips in Strawberry, the all natural stick. They're limited edition. I think they're already out of stores by this point, because so I tried to look up the cost again because I forgot what it was, and they're nowhere to be found except on eBay, which, yeah, I can't go by those prices for what it's actually worth because they're all over the place. But anyway, so just throwing that out there. But anywho, getting right into this. Format-wise, it's a stick, but a weirdly shaped stick. It's kind of oblong and ovally, so I mean, yeah, the bulb itself is shaped like that. So it's a little bit weird, a little bit funky to put on, but not terrible. Uh, Packaging-wise, it's pretty cute. Again, it's got that shape to it, but it's otherwise a standard stick with a little turn wheel at the bottom. And packaging itself has a little Hello Kitty and some strawberries on it, which is just adorable. And here's that side of it, if anybody cares to see it. There you go. So, yeah. Um... These are natural and organic, which is always nice. The ingredients list reads as follows. Olive fruit oil, beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter, jojoba seed oil, flavor, coconut fruit extract, sunflower seed oil, rosemary leaf extract, blackberry seed oil, stevia extract, and vitamin E. So, there's that. Amount of product is, is it on here? Yes, 0.15 ounces. So even though it's got a weird shape, it is still the same amount you'll find in a standard stick. Shelf life, I don't believe, is listed, though. Let's see. Um, nope. Not even a recommendation for how many months after opening. So I'm going to take a wild stab and guess it's a year or two it'll stay good for. So anyways price point honestly don't remember if anybody else does let me know in the comments but yeah can't go by online pricing because all there is right now seems to be ebay sturdiness wise let's pop the cap on this and see how we're doing uh peel that little sucker off of there come on the little stickers being a butt I mean, it's good that it's there because it's a safety seal and ensures nobody tampered with it before I got it, but it's still a pain in the butt to remove. There we go. But then it leaves a sticky spot. Mm. Not a fan of that, but oh well. Do what you gotta do to make it safe. So, unfortunately now there's that weird grimy spot. Let's see if I can do it this way without screwing up the label. Oh, I made it worse. Oh, shit. That's really bad. <laughs> what did I just do? Oh my god. I'm gonna wipe it on my leg, see if it helps. Because I think I just made this a million times worse. Yeah, that's not appealing. I should have left it be. Oh well. Anyway, so, um, sturdiness wise, it seems to have a decent cap. It has the good click and everything, so I feel pretty confident about that cap. Turn wheel's not wiggly, no complaints here. Um, let's see, is there any SPF? No. So no SPF, no medication. So, how about the scent then? And this is what the balm looks like, it's just natural beeswax coloring. Ooh. That actually smells really good. That's, um, it's not even really like an artificial strawberry. That's nice. That, um... You know those all-natural fruit gummies, like the fruit snacks, that have strawberry in them? This smells like the exact flavoring they use for those. That's really nice, because I always like those the best out of the all-natural gummies. I think the strawberry ones are just amazing. That just smells so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to put this on, so I'm gonna do that. I found it's least awkward to have it turn sideways while you put it on. Just go with the length of your lip. There we go. Ooh, it's flavored. Mmm. 
and it does taste like actual strawberry too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I like this one a lot. Wow. Okay. I can dig it. I like this one. Uh, Flavor-wise, it gets plus from me. Mm. Consistency-wise, I would say the thickness... Kind of in between a thin and a medium. It's not really leaning towards either side of the line in particular, but not quite enough in either direction for me to really fairly place it on one side or the other. So it's kind of just that weird gray middle area in between the two. As for the consistency itself, it's really slick and silky. I like this one. It feels very rich, which is good too. Um, this one just, it feels very very moisturizing. I like the feel of this one a lot. Um, I really have zero complaints whatsoever about this product. Uh, let's check for shine. Ooh, it has some shine! I like that. So I guess the only thing left to test is a drink test, because so far everything is passed. My goodness. Mm. We didn't see that. I was trying to get the straw out of the bottle because it's not quite tall enough for this bottle. Ugh, damn it! I dropped it again. I just spilled it again. It's staying on surprisingly better than I expected, especially for an all natural one. That's pretty impressive right there. Oh my goodness. It's not to say it doesn't thin out at all. It is thinning a little, which tells me that, you know, if I keep drinking this, which I plan to even once I finish this video, um, it, it will wear off, especially if I ditch the straw, which, you know, I'm gonna do. The only reason I'm using a straw with Gatorade is this one's blue. I'd rather not have my whole lips stained blue for doing this on camera, so, uh, yeah, there's that. The clear ones were all gone, apparently. Yeah, I'm kind of miffed about that. But anyway, I'd say it gets half a point docked for kind of passes the drink test, but not entirely, so there's that. So I think, mmm, I gotta rate this one. You know, I say that I'm going to rate this one. And oh, which one? Which one? Which one? Hmm. I was going to say 9.5 because of that docked half a point. But I was like, you know, my gut instinct is a 9 for this one. So I'm going to ditch the point five. I just am going to go with a straight up nine here. It's really good. It is absolutely worth tracking this one down, whether in the three pack or individually, because I sell these individually too. Uh, I would highly recommend this one. I think so far out of these, this one's been my favorite one. I really like it. I highly recommend it to you guys. It just smells so good and it tastes so good. It just everything about it is really, really nice. I'm amazed. So, you know, that's, that all I have to say on it other than it's just amazing so anyway as usual if you like this video click the like button if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe leave comments down below if any of you guys have this one I know some of you guys do if you do let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it as well as anything else you feel like leaving me down in the comments until next time bye